All right. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a great weekend. Hope everything's going well for you. I wanted to do a quick video to go over. Um, I don't know if I've stirred anyone's interest in OpenBSD, but if I have, I wanted to give you just a couple of basic pointers to uh, keep your system updated. Now, there are two commands that you need to be aware of in, a, in order to keep your system updated. Let me open up a terminal. The first one is, now you can do this as su, you know, use root or do as. If you use do as, you need to set up your do as dot cont file and I might show that at a later time. I'm not going to show it right now. I normally just do this as root. So su and what you want to do is run syspatch s-y-s-p-a-t-c-h and you see there's nothing going on. One way to check uh, if you if you need to run syspatch is to go to the OpenBSD website and I've already got it pulled up here and right here on patches these are patches that OpenBSD sends out for their users and you can check this you see that was the last one I've already installed that that's why there were no patches but I wanted to show that run syspatch to install any system patches and especially if you install a fresh installation of OpenBSD after you've installed it and got everything set up it's a good idea to go ahead and run that syspatch command and the other one this will uh, update your system is pkg underscore add skip a space dash u and when you run that I'll go ahead and run it uh, this is what will update your packages on your system and you want to run this when you have plenty of time it's gonna run through your whole system checking for any updates to or any upgrades to your packages that you have installed on your system. So that's basically it. Now I'm not going to sit here while this runs. I try to keep my system pretty lean. Any of you who are aware of me, you know I like systems without a lot on them. So that will also take away from the time that this runs. Now you can actually upgrade individual packages but OpenBSD recommends that you do this command the pkg underscore add dash u. Alright other than that I don't really have anything else to talk about. I just wanted to give that just in case anyone has gotten their interest stirred in OpenBSD. I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to go ahead and let it keep running. This is my open box system. Uh, I'm trying to keep it as bare as I can. Uh, I like to use YAD. I don't know if you're familiar with what YAD is. It's where you can use YAD to, uh, you know, you can make applications with it. Uh, let's see, what's another thing? Let me see if this will work. Yad dash dash color and that should open up. There it is. So you can use Yad for a color chooser. I mean there's all kind of things you can use for Yad. I'm actually using Yad for my menu. This might take just a moment. There it is. I'm using YAD to provide this menu. Now the one bad thing about it is, let's see, like access prompt. 
that normally wouldn't show up in a menu because it's set to no display equals true. But when you're using YAD, it's going to show everything in your applications folder, user local share applications. And the way I have this working is if you click on something, as soon as that application opens, the menu will disappear. I also have a full screen menu that'll give you a chance to see just how small my system is. I don't have very much on it at all. So that's all the applications that I have installed and that's all I need. So that's it. I'm also going to do my best to edit this video with Blender. I've been studying it some more. So I will let you guys know if I'm successful or not. I've made some changes to my screen uh, screencasting command to match what I need to do in Blender. So maybe this will work out, maybe not. I've done a test, <laughs> I've done a couple of test screencasts and it seemed to work out pretty good this time. So that's it guys. Let's see how we're doing here before I close this down. It's still going through them and you see this is how it's gonna go. You you need to run that command whenever you have time to let it run through your whole system. All right, that's it guys. Hope you guys have a great weekend and you guys take care. Thanks a lot.